uh, I like that a lot. I thought the design was very good. I really like your presentation style. I thought it was obviously the opposite of what I tend to do in these situations, but actually that quieter style really suited the presentation. And I thought your approach really sort of resonated alongside the product. Exciting product as well, clear problem. Everybody has it, it's easy to identify with. So I thought that was really powerful. And then also you have some traction. So good news there. In terms of ways we can improve, on the first slide, I'd probably put your contact info. And then when we got to the problem slide, I'd convert that time cost into a monetary cost. So if you're saying, oh, this much time is lost, well, obviously that, that's money as well. So how much money is that? And that's gonna make the number immediately exciting for a potential investor. I'd show the demo in three stages. So you mentioned you had a video to go to. Yes, obviously, if you have more time, you'll just show it. But if you don't have more time, you're in this kind of situation, then one slide that shows how it works is really powerful. Again, just to be, give people a little taste to get them to, uh, you know, again, ask questions, move forward if that's what we want. No need to discuss pricing at this stage. I think you're, most entrepreneurs this early on underprice. So we're gonna put ourselves in a bad position if we actually talk about that. Again, if someone asks, you can have the current pricing in the appendix slide, but talk about how you plan to increase that as well. And then learn the words. So it got a little bit tougher for you towards the end. It's clear you've done a lot of practice on those early slides, but towards the end, maybe there's been slightly less practice. And so that was a little bit obvious to me and that you don't wanna have that confidence diminished over time. Perfect, thank you so much.